How supportive are you of what the Israeli tanks and IDF have done in this area of Lebanon? Good morning. Good morning, Nick. Uh, we find ourselves in a horrible situation now in Israel, in a situation that we have been trying to avoid for the last year. I'll remind you, on October 7th, Hamas launched this war. On October 8th, Hezbollah decided to join the war. It's rained tens of thousands of missiles on northern Israel, over 10,000 missiles. It's forced tens of thousands of Israelis to flee their home. And Israelis spent a whole year warning Hezbollah, you must back off or we will have to push you away. And after a year in which Hezbollah continued attacking Israel as part of Iran's seven-front war against Israel, Israel now finds itself doing what UNIFIL was meant to have done over the last 18 years and dismantle Hezbollah. Because we have an internal refugee crisis, 60,000 people who haven't been able to go home for the last year. And we need them to go home free of fear of a repeat October 7th on the northern border, which is what Hezbollah was planning, free of fear of constant missile attacks and shelling on their homes. But the UNIFIL forces are there under a UN mandate, Mr. Levy. Correct. And it's deeply well, distressing and upsetting for us. Israel the right to ignore that? Well, for 18 years, UNIFIL hasn't implemented its mandate, unfortunately. It had one job. The 2006 war ended with a diplomatic settlement. That diplomatic settlement was that the UN would put peacekeeping forces in Lebanon that would oversee the dismantlement of Hezbollah. They didn't do it. They allowed Hezbollah to build a mighty terrorist army with 200,000 missiles and then started using them at the behest of Iran. And so Israel now finds itself after a year of already being attacked by Hezbollah saying, look, if the world isn't going to stop Hezbollah, no one else is going to do it but, but in, us. But in breach again of a UN mandate, Mr. Levy. Nick, we have been at war for a year since Hezbollah declared war on us. Uh, yesterday, four soldiers were killed by a drone launched from an area that UNIFIL was meant to have been dismantling for the last 18 years. We don't want to be in this war. We would much rather the United Nations dismantle Hezbollah as it was meant to do under a resolution passed 18 years ago. But Hezbollah declared war on us a year ago, and we are fighting in order to degrade its capabilities and push it away from the border. It's, that, repo that... it's reported that Israeli forces have fired on medics and first responders. Is that correct? I'm not aware of those reports. It would certainly not be the way the IDF operates. The IDF is operating to target Hezbollah, and we've seen the extraordinary precision with which it has decapitated the entirety of Hezbollah's leadership, and according to Israel's defense minister, reduced its huge missile stockpile to only a third. We're in this war because Hezbollah declared war, and we're trying to end it by pu pushing Hezbollah away from the border so that the displaced Israelis can return home. What happens if UNIFIL won't go? The attacks continue? Well, Israel is asking UNIFIL soldiers to get out of the way because they're right next to Hezbollah positions. Yes. Uh, yesterday we saw... But if they the decline, tunnel. Mr. Levy, what, what well, happens Well, if they then? decline, Israel is going to continue operating against Hezbollah positions, trying to coordinate as much as possible with UNIFIL soldiers and asking questions how it's possible that Hezbollah built a whole tunnel and missile complex right under UNIFIL's noses. Uh, unfortunately, this peacekeeping force has been entirely useless. And if it won't move out of the way and get itself out of harm's way, as Israel is urging, then of course Israel is going to continue attacking Hezbollah's military infrastructure. The United States has expressed its clear support for attacking that infrastructure because Hezbollah is planning on using it for a repeat October 7th. So and I think that the peacekeepers, uh, you know, who haven't been doing their job, they had one job, for the past 18 years, would be wise to get out of the way uh, instead of remaining well, so close to Hezbollah strongholds that they let build up right under their noses over 18 years. Well, your language is very strong. The IDF says that the shelling of medics and first responders is as a result of Hezbollah using ambulances to carry weaponry and fighters. So there's a very real danger that these people, some of these people are going to be killed within the UNIFIL or United Nations, isn't there? It certainly sounds uh, logical that Hezbollah would be using ambulances because they've seen Hamas using the same tactic in the Gaza Strip and unfortunately getting away with it. It's the established modus operandi. But how do you know that. what's inside an ambulance? Well, Israel would only take such action on the basis of firm intelligence. And we've seen in the past few months 
with the incredible precision that Israel has taken out Hezbollah's leadership, that it has very seriously compromised Hezbollah and has very clear intelligence. Um, what Israel is trying to do is to degrade this Iranian army that has built up on Israel's borders in violation of UN Security Council Resolution 1701, right? I hear the calls around the world for a diplomatic resolution, and Israel has been going blue in the face, not just in the last year, saying, Please enforce 1701. Get Hezbollah away from the border like the UN Security Council demanded. But over the past 18 years, Israel's diplomats have been urging the world but to lastly, push Hezbollah away. Mr. Levy, lastly, you want the world to listen to United Nations 1701. But when the United Nations actions doesn't suit Israel, they just drive tanks through gates. No, but that's not the case, Nick. Well, we are I, now I picking it is up in the in southern pieces. Lebanon. Well, we're picking up the pieces now of the world's failure. We're picking but up the pieces of the, the world's United failure Nations to on the one hand, Hezbollah. and you choose to ignore it on the other. Lastly, don't no, you? Nick. We're talking about a resolution that was passed oh, 18 see. years ago and never implemented. And if Hezbollah is going to continue raining over 10,000 missiles at northern Israel, drones that are striking civilian areas, how much longer does anyone expect Israel to sit on its hands and wait for the United Nations to do what it hasn't been doing for the past 18 years? I'm grateful for your time. Elon Levy was joining us from Tel Aviv, former spokesman for the Israeli government. We're hearing from Barrister Sir Jeffrey Nice, who's an expert in this field, right after the 8.16 LBC News headlines read by Jenny Barsby.